we were the only show celebrating with Adam Levine as he launched a new venture. I'll give you a hint. He smelled really good, and he gave me a super nice welcome. It's a big deal for each. They brought in the big dogs. <laughs> the heavy hitters right here. You got me to sit down. That's right. This is big time. <laughs> For the past 14 seasons, Maroon 5's frontman has been having a ball on The Voice, but it almost never happened without some serious convincing by The Voice's executive producer. I sat in a room with Mark Burnett years ago with my arms folded. No way, man. I'll never be on TV. And he's like, you, you gotta do it. And to be completely honest, I wasn't sure what was happening with the band, and we were kind of in this weird middle stage of our career where we weren't sure where it was going. But The Voice became this very unexpected, huge hit, giant hit. Are you gonna do it forever? I mean, forever is a forever is a long time. As long as it, it feels right, you know, it's nice to be able to give back the things that we've learned. Um, they pay me really well. It's just like, come on, best job. Did you ever think in your wildest dream you'd do a fragrance? No. The dad to 19-month-old Dusty and two-and-a-half-month-old Geo sat down for our exclusive chat to announce the rock star's brand new campaign for Yves Saint Laurent's Y Cologne. What do you love about being the new face of Y? My kind of love affair with YSL for years has been way before they showed any interest in me, so it's kind of a dream come true. The shirtless playing of the drums. That was a smart yes. idea on that, the campaign's behalf. <laughs> that, well, that was also more me doing what I normally do. There's a room in our house. It's soundproof, so, you know, kids can be, babies can be sleeping. Everyone can be doing their thing. I go in there and I bang the crap out of the drums. 